It got me stone cold. Yay! Boys, what's up, man? Just got out here with Weston. We're up here at Double A Lake. Look at this freaking behemoth of a bass, bro. Look at that fish, bro. It's about to be an epic freaking day. You guys stay tuned. What's going on, guys? Today's video is absolutely crazy. We get out on another private property thanks to Private Waters Fishing, guys. If you haven't checked them out, link is in the top of the description. What happened was we were test fishing a new property that is now on the books. And if you remember, you should definitely book a chance to go fish double A lake. We had an absolute blast starting things off with a big six pounder, multiple five pounders, caught a new personal best for myself. You guys have a lot to look forward to. I'm gonna just shut up and get right to it, man. Let's get to fishing. So a six pounder to start the vlog off. That is nuts. And uh, of course the spinnerbait is one of the few things I did not bring because I just brought my little kayak tackle box. But luckily Torrance has got the hookup on some more spinnerbait. So we gonna get this thing tied on. And Torrance likes to throw them uh, without a trailer, but a trailer hook on there in case they were to short strike it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do, man. We're gonna hit this grass line all the way around to some of the prime spots on this lake. There we go. All right. Hit the old spot lock. Nice one to start. There we go, 2.35. 2.35 and 17 inches. Nice. Got him. There's fish number two. All right. Come on up, son. Fish number two on the spinner bait. Luckily, I got the rod holder on the Old Town. Kudos. Spot lock to kind of chill and keep my position. If you guys haven't checked out Old Town Canoes, I'll leave them linked in the description. One and a quarter. On these new properties, we're trying to keep everything documented. One and a quarter and 14 inches. Kind of curious if these fish will come up out of the grass for some top water, even though it's, uh, a little toasty midday. To my sins, I do it for real. There's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Okay, I think he wanted it, boys. I think he wanted it, and it's a good one. Y'all, he inhaled that top water. I mean, this might be four or five pounds. But this is a fatty. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, this thing's got some weight, boys. Goodness, let's get this thing weighed. 4.38. Four and a quarter, 21 inch, y'all. Have a good one. You got it. You got it. Oh my gosh, this one might be bigger. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe not. But I'd say that's another four. Say Torrance. Where are you at on the top water, bro? Yeah, let's go for the land on this puppy. <laughs> 2.95 so basically a three pounder right there that will do looking like a 19 incher pencil walking bait we got that bead in there so it pops it makes a really loud thump on top of the water and it's bringing them up from the depths man they are liking it oh Ooh, he came back for it oh my god okay okay this one actually looks a little bit bigger than that last one. 330. Wow. Just back to back, man, on the top water. Yep. Yeah, that's a 20 incher. Yeah. There we go. All right. Okay, let's hit spot lock. Wow. This thing is just attracting the biggins, man. I mean, these are good fish. That thing has got a belly. 3.61. 3.57, little over five, uh, three and a half. I was about to say five. It's a solid, that's like only 17 inches, man. Like 17 and a half. Oh my goodness. All right, 
Ooh, plumpity plump plump. Let's get some more of those right there, please. What these bass are doing is they're roaming around here in this thick grass and they probably stay close to this edge right here, right on the grass edge and they ambush anything peeking out. But I'm thinking I might even have them uh, coming out of the shade in the grass to hit this top water because it's so loud and obnoxious and they're just on on that top water bite. It's rare to find it midday. I mean, it is four in the afternoon. Little breeze, little cloud cover, and they're munching this thing. Oh, okay, there he goes. All right, this might be the smallest one so far on this thing. Wow, I mean fighters. Woo wee letting a little bit more line out because I keep messing this thing up right here when I bring him in the boat. I want to be able to put the rod right here in the holder. Yep. Ah. Ouch. I think this is actually kind of interesting doing this whole weight versus length. I don't do that very often and I think it's kind of cool understanding in relation to how long these fish are, how much they maybe should weigh. This one's about 2.71 at red a second ago. Two and three quarter pounds and about 17 inches. So that's crazy because one of those that was like three and a half or something was 17 inches so much fatter Yeah, I wasn't getting too many hits over here So I just decided to take one more cast behind me in the wind and then boom Oh, well, oh god He hit it on the pause when I was like moving the motor sick Well, they're not as friendly to the top water on this side of the lake for some reason So I think I need to switch it up. I want to throw this new glide. I got it's almost two ounces It's like very small and petite. It's the s waiver 120 size and I do believe these bass gonna smack it. Oh, there he is. All right. Oh, big. I leaned into that pretty good too with this 710 heavy. Hmm, very unusual. All right, boys, just what the doctor ordered. Property owner says he put some uh, shiner in here. This thing looks pretty shiny, so I bet you I might just get me a little bass, maybe a big bass. First cast with the Molex. I think it's 185 SS, 185 slow sink uh, glide. I got a feeling this thing's gonna get wrecked. Give me about 10 minutes over here. Man, meanwhile, Torrance is on so many fish with this Sanko. Oh my god, a follower, and I didn't even pay attention. Woo! There we go. Oh god. Oh god. They hit the trout, baby. Oh. He's at least two pounds. On the glide bait, man. We got us a good and No, don't take us down into the grass. Don't do it. Oh wow, okay. Well, spot lock right here. Um, boom. Oh my goodness, all right, that may, mm, I don't know if that's the biggest of the day. Wowzers, it's a good fish. Nope, ah, got foul hooked. He wanted it so bad, he swiped it. Oh my, there we go, 4.18. Wow, what a fish. We'll see you. Cruising, man. Cruising. Oh, God. Okay. Got another. Another one on the glide bait. There we go. This one looks pretty good. Oh, this one looks real good. Oh, it looks real good. It's taking us under the boat. Oh, my God. This one's got some fight, guys. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Okay. Well. That'll work. Uh, where do I go from here? Nope. Don't even know. Oh my gosh. If this ain't a five younder, I don't know what is. Hey, you help me out with a picture? There we go. That's the one. Two fives in one day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right when it hit the water. He's not that big. I just need to get some pictures. Fuck. <laughs> Are you kidding, bro? <laughs> 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 
There we go, boys. That's two glide bait fish, possibly to end the evening. Torrance and I are getting on it, man. You were throwing the uh, Arashi Storm, the Storm Arashi glide. Yeah. And then, you know, I was throwing that Molex right there. I just got from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Save 30% on all your baits and catch some bigs like us out here today. You can get them before they sell out. What are you doing over here, Torrance? <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to film a video out here. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, we got a five and a half, and then we got Torrance's dink. We're gonna let these hey. things go. <laughs> Dude, what if like... <laughs> I know. Okay. Oh, here's a little tyke. Got him. That's a big, that's a big, that's a really big. Oh my gosh, that's a really big. This might be the, uh, ah, nah. Ah, he's tiny. Oh my God, that might be the eight. I don't know. Oh my God, that's a fish. Woo! Okie dokie, Smokey. That was the most subtle bite yet. 7.01, baby! There she is, y'all. New PB breaking seven pounds at 7.01 to end the evening. Private waters fishing, hooking us up, man. You guys absolutely gotta get out here to Double A Lake. It's gonna be new. I think it's up on the site either today or Monday. Whew. Nothing but bigs, man. Torrance and I have been tearing them up. Go ahead and check out Palm Boys down in the description as well. Woo! He's been out here hustling with me all day trying to get some bigs. And look at what it comes down to. A nice seven pounder to round out the evening. It's been a blast, man. Shoo! Good job, bro. That's a fish right there. Good job. Great job. I'm gonna go throw this frog to end the evening, I think, in this uh, calm area. Got him on the frog. First cast after coming over here. Small guy, smallest one of the day for me out here, I think, because I have sized down on the uh, profile of the bait. But bigs will hit frogs, guaranteed. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! All right, y'all. So these glide baits right here. This is, I'm sorry, Molex Glide Bait 178 SS. I think I said 185 earlier. It's got some, you know, supposedly soft fins. They're not really soft, but it's got some soft fins. Uh, <laughs> It's got some stout treble hooks. They haven't let go of too much today. And uh, it's got this nice S pattern, this wide glide. And you can kind of affect how far the glide goes. If you do like a firm pop, if you give a firm twist of the reel, it likes to kind of dart and turn around almost, or give just a wide sweep. And so, my retrieve with this bait has pretty much just been Get it as close to the grass line as possible for one on the cast and then a pretty slow retrieve right now i'm drifting towards the bait so i may even be reeling in a little faster it just depends sometimes i'm giving it a quick pop right after it lands that way it kind of looks like a fish like maybe just jumped in the water and kind of scurried a little bit and uh, other times i'm just going slow and steady i notice if i reel it real fast it kind of likes to do a little dive um, and maybe that's what you would even say it does with the quick half twitch instead of more of like a turnaround on this one It seems to dive a little bit, which is fine. I guess you get it down a little deeper than maybe you have it It's a subsurface. It'll sink all the way down, but you really got to give it time That's why I'm choosing to fish this uh, Well, I started pretty early. It's kind of different fishing it here I think you can get away with this bait here midday because these fish hug up to this grass line probably all day looking for food But let's say there was no grass and it was just straight bank and shoreline, right? and you could work your way all the way up there. I think you have a very slim chance of catching a giant fish on this bait midday. Your best bet is gonna be early sunrise or like take now for instance, it's overcast and it's getting towards that sunset when those big fish come up to feed. 
Otherwise, if you're gonna be throwing this midday like we are here, you really need some grass edges to throw it next to, maybe even uh, some docks, maybe you're fishing docks and you get it under there, get it in the shade, um, just under the tree lines, things of that nature if you're gonna be fishing these things midday. Also, I'm throwing this on a, a St. Croix Mojo Bass swim bait rod. I mean, this thing is made to throw big baits like this. I would say this is a, ooh, I done forgot, uh, maybe a three ounce bait. Uh, it's between two and a half and three and a half, I'd say. I, I, I forgot, honestly. But this rod is rated, dude, I don't even remember. I just bought it too. Call me an idiot, but you know, I'm forgetful. Two to seven, two to seven ounce baits maybe is what this is rated for. And so two to five, I really don't even remember, dudes. Yeah, so you need a heavy rod, man. You don't want to sacrifice distance. You don't want to sacrifice maybe breaking the rod because you're throwing these heavy baits, just cast after cast after cast. It starts to bend those rods to the point of it's gonna break. So you really can't just be throwing this on no seven foot medium heavy or, or like a seven foot four rated to one or one and a half ounce baits. So you really need to get a dedicated swim bait rod to chunk the heavy stuff like this. And same goes, the uh, same for the reel. We're using a Tranks 200 today with 20 pound fluorocarbon. 20 pounds should be able to get the job done. If your fish are real line shy, I would go only as low as, whew, it's tough to say, man. I would only go as low as like 15. Throwing these big baits, oftentimes they're kind of creeping behind it, following it. And uh, I would say they're not gonna see the line as much, but let's say they do. I wouldn't go any lower than 15. I also probably wouldn't go any higher than, uh, I don't know, Tactical Bassin talks about 30, but I, I think 25 is pretty heavy and you're gonna sacrifice some distance if you've got some 25 pound line spooled up, even though these baits are big and heavy. So uh, I've got the 20 pound fluoro on here. I don't know if I really mentioned anything about the Tranks other than the fact that it's uh, the 200 size. This is actually the 201 because the left handers are odd numbers with Shimano. Highly recommend this reel. You guys know I don't throw much of anything else when it comes to reels. Uh, we just, ever since getting our first Shimano, the quality, the reliability, we have really stuck to almost just purchasing them. Uh, we started off, of course, with some cheaper stuff, but once we found out about them Shimanos and got our first one, we decided to just kind of spend a little extra up front and hopefully not as much in the long run and then also not have to worry about whether you're going to land the fish of a lifetime because your reel decides to break on you or the release the spool release stops working sometimes your handle gets all clanky your drag's not strong enough there's so many different reasons why you should pay for quality when it comes to reels i think i'm getting into the wind a little bit so hopefully you guys can still hear these pointers drop a like if you can and also please subscribe tell a friend about the video and hit notifications you got to turn them to all man otherwise you won't get notified when all the videos drop you only get like a rare notification i'm gonna try and get me one more fish maybe and then I think uh, T and I are about to call it. He's getting on him on the top water. I just really don't want to put this glide bait down, but the bite seems to have gotten sparse. Definitely want to thank Private Water Fishing for hooking us up on this spot for the day. They've got locations all across Texas into Oklahoma and are expanding every day. Then we just got hit, boys. Oh, there's a swirl too. I felt it and then he, oh my gosh. I wonder how big that was. Oh my God, that's a cast right there. That's right along the bank. This is money right here. Let me get us out of here. Thank you, Old Town, for the motorized kayak. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I would do without you. All right, let's see if we can't land this thing. You're not quite the seven pound PB, but you're a good one. Wow, sketchy. What a belly. All right then, I call that about two and a half. Maybe even more, dude, it's just so football fat. Train's going by, audio's probably bad. We'll see you guys at the truck. All right, man. Oh, thank you guys for tuning in. Torrance and I crushed it today. Biz only. Biz Co only, bub. Co couple things in there, mainly his his Senko life. But uh, yeah, we had a good time, man. We were chilling on the Old Town kayaks, getting our baits from Carl's Bait and Tackle, fishing private water fishing, led to the new PB, man. Torrance actually broke the kayak. I didn't even tell you guys, but uh, well, actually, maybe you did catch a little bit of that. The pedal drive system is missing a propeller, so we're going to have to hit up Old Town see if they will hook it up with another. Until then, man, we're loaded up. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Yee! -yee!